Hello! Welcome back to the channel. Now, I know the angle is wonky. I'm just still trying to figure out the angle. So please be patient with me as I am trying to figure out the angle situation with my um, <laughs> uh, folding table. I I'm going to have to try to see if I can find another one that works better. But for now, this is the best I can do. Now, you see two different notebooks. This is my... My calendar you can say this is where I write my bills my appointments my every whatever I need to remember this is gonna be where I'm gonna write out my budget with me so I am gonna be budgeting my paycheck I did say my previous video which was my um happy mail that <laughs> I have more bills than I have cash so and I did say I was gonna go into more detail how is it that I managed to pay all the bills despite the fact I don't have a very big paycheck. So let's get started. So for bills, it's going to be red. Yeah. All right. So actually I mean, right. Okay. So yeah. Bills. Okay. I can't write straight like this. I'm going to take this out. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I write better this way. If you hear birds squawking in the background, we have a bird in. He's upset. <laughs> All right. So for bills, I have rent. That's $460. Now, this is most of my rent. This is $460 out of the $575. I pay the remaining balance the week after. The second bill I have is my AT&T and that is my prepaid uh, cell phone bill. So the total is $41.51. And then I have one of my YouTube subscriptions I know the table's moving. This is why I need another table because it, I need it to be steady and it's not. And that is it. Now, there is another bill I have that I'm not going to pay to the day after, and I'll explain why I do that afterwards. So, this is the total. So let's pull out the calculator. So let's do the, oh, I don't know how we're gonna see this. 460, 41, 51, plus the 499. So the total is $506.50. This is the total for the for the week. Mm, here's where <laughs> the money situation gets a little tricky for me. My paycheck was let me look it up. <laughs> Gotta confirm. I know it's like a hundred and yes, you're hearing that right. It was a hundred. <laughs> oh, trust me, guys. <laughs> this is crazy. How I manage my money is a crazy thing. Was a hundred and thirty-eight dollars and fifty-eight cents. That was the total of my paycheck. So. When you do the math, so $506.50 minus $138.58, I'm in the red. By $367.92. This is not including one other thing 
I have an A7 wallet. In my A7 wallet, I stuff my groceries and I put 40 this month, but also my, I don't know why I can't spell dining out right. Is it with two ends? Or... You know what? This is how I'm going to spell it. And then afterwards, I'll figure out what the spelling is. I uh, put 70. So then when you add the 40 and the 70, the red is now $477.92. And that's in the negative. Now, how do I get out of this negative into the positive? My, ch my uh, work offers this thing called Wisely. And in essence, what it is, it allows you to give yourself a paycheck advance on your next paycheck. So I pull out money from my next week's paycheck through that and this is how I turn this into the positive now what I decided to do was because I worked my regular 40 hours plus 14 and a half hours of overtime I pulled out of my advance paycheck $600 I don't know why that's doing that. That's how much I pulled. Now, I did have a little, the $138, always in 58 cents. So with the $138, with the $138, what I did was I deducted my cell phone, which is forty-one fifty-one. So one thirty-eight fifty-eight minus the forty-one fifty-one. That left me with ninety-seven oh seven, and I deducted the four ninety-nine. So that left me with 92.08. I had less than this because I needed to do a necessary purchase of my contact solution. So that was, let me look it up. The bird's upset. Unfortunately, he did injure himself. So he is recovering. So he's a little bit in pain. Can't do anything about it, unfortunately. So subtract the 1927, which was my contact solution. That left me with 7281 to play with. That was left. So what I did was, of the 649, what I did is I subtracted 460, covering my paycheck, covering most of the rent that's due. So that's 189. I also subtracted the 111 for my A7 wallet. So that left me with $79. I deposited that $79 to the balance of the $72.81. So the $79 minus the $79 is $72.81. That left me with $151.81. What I decided to do with this was I decided to pay five of my afterpays off in advance. Now, 
my afterpays. Let's do this. So I have 151.81. Let's do. Let me go to my. All right, so. I have five different afterpays I, that is due next week, but I wanted to get rid of it. So the first afterpay was $26.84. I am looking on my calendar that you saw at the beginning of the video. So that way I can look at the totals. $40.56. Third one was $14.66. One, two, three. Ah, I'm missing one. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Thirty ninety one. And last but not least, forty ninety nine. So the total of this. So twenty six eighty four. Forty fifty six. Fourteen sixty six. Thirty ninety one. And forty ninety nine. Is a hundred and fifty three dollars and ninety six cents. I did something wrong. Eh. Okay, when I did it, I actually had extra. <laughs> okay, so I did something wrong. I'll be right back. All right, figured it out. So, I forgot to add the fact that I had $4.61 in my account <laughs> when my paycheck hit, was deposited. So the 151 81 plus the 461 gave me 156.42. So subtract the 153.96. So that leaves me 246 with my with my bills or what I have left in my account. I know this is a crazy way to do it, but this is how I survive. Now, I did mention earlier, I have a particular bill that's technically due with this paycheck, and that is my, I'm not sure, yeah, I'm gonna have to use another color because this blends in. Let's, my upgrade. I have a loan through them. So that payment is $188.22. The reason I am not paying this with this paycheck is because they have a 15 day grace period where I am able to pay it after the due date without a late fee. Since I get paid Friday, I'm going to pay this the next day. So it's due on Thursday, but then the next day I get paid. So this will be taken care of the next day. And that's how I do it. This is how I balance my paychecks. The Wisely Paycheck Advance program allows me to do this. But also with the overtime I have been currently doing, it allows me to make extra money so I can do this, get ahead. The reason why I decided to skip this and pay this is because once I'm done paying this off, these are four installment payments. I don't have to worry about it. So these five payments, one of them was the final installment payment. So I'm now down to next time I have these four amounts coming up, I only have four of the five. So that's why I chose to get ahead on these ones. So that way they're out of my way. I don't have to worry about them. And all this money that's going to the afterpay, I can now snowball it into my actual debt. So that is the plan I have and that I'm currently executing. So hopefully this taught you a little bit uh 
maybe a different strategy. Now, is this the best strategy? No. But um, I do it this way because, like I said, I want to pay off certain things quicker and faster, like the afterpay. And um, I didn't have to pay these five. I could have just taken out what I needed, which was this. I just, oh, let me show you, sorry. All I needed to take care of was this. My rent, the AT&T, and the YouTube. That's it. I could have just kept it at that and taken the A7 amount of the $40 and the $70. And I could have not taken out the $649. But again, I'm trying to pay all these afterpays off as quickly as possible. So I don't have to worry about it. And I can use that money, extra money I'm, that's going towards that, towards my debt. And I can finally get rid of this. So this is my budget with me. And like I said in the previous video, if you're going to be judgmental and rude, I will delete your comments and block you. But if you're like me, this is how I make it work. And it works for me. And it's worked so far. I'm hoping once I'm done with my afterpays, I don't have to um, pull out anymore from my Wisely account, do any more like payment, um, paycheck advancements anymore. And I can just, just solely rely on my paychecks 100%. And I'm hoping that's possible in the next two to three months. But yes, this is my method. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. And I promise I will figure out this angle one way or the other. One way or another. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.